what is the difference between classicism and romanticism? Yeah, this is a pertinent question. You have asked a very pertinent question because students have been uh, hearing these words classicism and romanticism and sometimes they find that sometimes they find it difficult to understand what is the difference between the two classicism and romanticism they are two ideologies sometimes they are a, a they are a uh, school of thought sometimes we may say it's a all about at about technique of writing certain things for instance the way you write poetry or the subjects that you choose about your about your work of art maybe poetry or epic or whatever so it is something more than just a just a manner it is something more than just a just an ideology just a school of thought in fact uh, it gives us an idea about the dominance of certain things in classicism whereas in romanticism we find dominance of certain other things for instance whenever we talk about uh, classicism uh, for instance uh, if we look at neoclassicism that was prevalent uh, in england during the uh, later later half of the 18th century we we know that it was a period in which intellect was considered to be the ruling guiding principle pop Dryden, they were considered to be the neoclassicists and they believed in intellect. Their poetry was intellectual. They believed that in intellect is the guiding force. Whereas when we come to romantic poetry, poetry of Wordsworth, Keats, Shelley, it is again instead of intellect we find imagination. Imagination is the, is the guiding principle. They indulge in flights of fancy and their poetry is highly imaginative. So, from intellect to imagination, the shift was that. And uh, another difference that we find between uh, neoclassicism and uh, romanticism is that in neoclassicism, restraint was the ruling word. They believed that there should be restraint. Whereas romantic poets, they did not believe in any kind of restraint. They did not believe, they, they, they believed in liberty, freedom. So, we find their free play of emotion and patience and imagination there is no restraint on them and they believed that a man a poet is a free to express in the way he likes and another thing that we find in neoclassicism is they relied on the classical masters aristotle plato socrates they were the masters for them they believed in them they followed them they considered their, the, whatever was preached by Aristotle and Plato was considered to be biblical for them. It was Bible for them. So, here again we find a shift. That when we come to romantic poets, we find that they turn for inspiration not to the classical masters, but to the medieval poets and writers. Medievalism was prevalent during the romantic, uh, romantic period. And this shift we find in their attitude towards uh, their uh, their source of inspiration that we find again during the uh, neoclassical period say restoration period we find a different kind of literature in which city or urban life is represented you read the plays of congreve and his contemporaries you read the poetry of uh, uh, alexander pope and dryden we find it that they they represent city life urban life in their poetry in their drama but the moment we come to Wordsworth, Coleridge, Shelley, Keats we find that it's the rustic life it's the countryside that attracts them most they sing the glory of the rural people they sing the glory of the rustic life so that difference we find when we come to uh, romantic poetry another difference is that romantic poetry is basically subjective for them, as Wordsworth, you must have read in the content also, Wordsworth's definition says, poetry, good poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, recollected in tranquility. So that says that they believed in subjectivity, spontaneous overflow. It is subjective, but classical poets, they believed in objectivity, that good poetry should be objective. So that was the uh, difference. So these are certain points on which they differ it is it, it is a difference in their approach to life it is a difference in their in their approach to what they are they were doing if they were poets it was a difference in the way they looked at poetry 
if they were dramatist it was in, in the difference was in their approach to how they looked at drama so i think this makes it pretty clear for you yes sir thanks thanks a lot sir you are always welcome